my dear child i know you are feeling a lot of heaviness in your heart about some things even in the midst of it i know that you believe in me and i know you are believing that i remove those heaviness remember your faith in me is what matters the most and when you firmly believe in me you may have different thoughts in your mind to destroy your faith in me so just because you have got a thought in your mind does not mean that it comes from me so at that time you should make yourself remember that i will never give you a thought that misleads or discourage or depress you so think about the thought that comes in your mind with what i said and who i am and think whether it comes from me or not So remember I am here for you. I know you are hurt. I know about that heaviness that you are carrying in your heart. So I am seeing your tears that come from your eyes and I am hearing your prayers. So you should remember that I will also remain faithful to you forever. And I will replace that heaviness of struggle with heavy blessing and what you have to do is believe in me. So your faith in me is what matters. My child know that. When it seems like the end remember the best is there still to come When the Israelites came in front of the Red Sea they thought it was the end but it did not end up as they thought So when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den everyone thought it was the end but it did not end up as how they thought when joseph brother sold him they thought it was the end but it did not end up as they thought in your life so you may feel stuck with some things it can be your circumstances or decision to be made or you are waiting and you may feel like there is no way for further so at this point just think what i had done for israelis daniel and joseph the israelis thought there would not be a way but i opened the way through the red sea and in the same way think about daniel and joseph if i was able to give the best for the israelis and for daniel and joseph then do you think there is anything hard for me to do in your life you may say i am not daniel or joseph I know that too but you should know that you are my child and I need you to remember one thing I too have a plan for you So a plan to give you the best to prosper you so trust me remember I who begin a good work in you will be faithful to complete it So my child no doubt
द यूनिवर्स हैज डन इट अगेन माई चाइल्ड इट्स कॉज यू टू एलिवेट जस्ट इन टाइम फॉर द डोर्स ऑफ अ न्यू चैप्टर टू ओपन यू हैव गेन अ वे मूड स्ट्रेन दिस पास्ट ईयर दैन एट एनी अदर स्टेज ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड योर पीस ऑफ माइंड हैज टेकन प्रेसिडेंस ओवर एवरीथिंग योर इमोशंस हैव respectfully fallen under the control of your spirit so each day you take the time to express more gratitude than the day before that alone has made a world of difference nothing distract you anymore not the negative energy of others and especially not the distasteful demands of your ego so no matter other transformation has changed you quite like this one your latest breakthrough was not handed to you it was on period so you deserve all the positive vibes that is coming your way plus a few extras so my child note that there will be days that would not feel right to you and that is okay life has many phases you do not have to love them all nor do you have to pretend to be okay when you feel disappointed or hurt you just have to make it through some of those phases one day at a time so that you can get to those that actually matter so but do not forget the lessons you learn through the hard days they may not be easy to accept or appreciate but they will give you the wisdom and the courage you need to move ahead so my child know that you are heading in beautiful direction lately you have experienced synchronicities that cannot be fully explained but there are affirmations that you are on the rightish path the moment you made the decision to cut out bad habits and puts a life of deeper meaning and the universe responds by lightening up the path ahead and you are gaining invaluable clarity and inner peace so you are moving with easy towards the life you have dream of so my child know that if there is an area of your life that feels like you are falling behind if there is a space in your world you feel a little lost if there is something you are looking for that you have not found yet pause where you know and remind yourself this so you are exactly where you need to be in this moment but where you are right now is just a moment so where you are going is going to be lovely you just don't have to rush to get there that lost feeling is exactly what will help you navigate how to be found and who you want to be but who you are right now is someone you should be so proud of and if there is something that feels a like it is missing so no it's making its way to you as we speak and when it come you are going to appreciate it so much more because you know how long it took to get that thing you 
you are more beautiful than most you are just as deserving as anyone else and everyone who knows you love you for all you are and i can't wait to see who you will become because if it is better you are striving for no even you at your worst is better than most people's best so my child know that this is your reminder that you are not required to fill every spare moment of your life with something to do so it is okay to pause rest be still and be silent you don't have to always produce you don't have to always accomplish something you can simply be you can simply exist the moments you receive between finishing something and starting something are scared periods mean for introspection contemplation depressed and healing So these are moments when your mind body and spirit you need to rejoice and replenish please don't define yourself by your productivity incredible things emerge from silence and stillness too your turn is coming your time is coming your happiness is coming even if it feels like you have been celebrating the happiness and success of others a lot lately Make sure you don't forget about all the things you already have to be grateful for and you may not have it all just yet. But you are work in your progress and there is still so much falling into place for you. Your journey may look a little different but I promise you it is not any less worthy of recognition. There are moments so worth celebrating that are unfairly overlooked. So instead of feeling like you can only smile for other people, normalize feeling proud of yourself. so for ending a toxic relationship instead of staying with them for the sake of being in a relationship normalize being proud of yourself for leaving a job where you had the opportunity to progress your career but it was destroying your soul in the process normalize being proud of yourself for putting your life on hold as you heal It gets exhausting saving all your smiles for other people so please don't forget how far you have come and how proud of yourself you should be So don't let your impatience cause you to grow cynical everything coming to you is worth waiting for so just don't forget to celebrate everything along the way My child know that walking with God is not a straight path there is going to be opposition from the enemy obstacle and detours but our job is to keep trusting that God is in control and that he is going to work all things together for our good you need to remember that nothing can come to you without it going through God first so no matter How painful the experience may be God allow it for a reason whether that is to straighten your faith or remove something out of you and that is not like Christ So God is doing a lot of maturing within his children in this season and he want us to trust him as a child would trust their parents
so when a parents tell their child something they don't doubt it they believe it even if they can't see it because they believe that their parent is trustworthy and that is the same posture god needs you to have in this season so trust him even when you don't see it trust him even when it does not make sense trust him even when it seems impossible and he is faithful my child know that you are getting ready to experience great power from within you you may have felt disconnected from your inner power and strength You may be looking outside for the answer and even going through a time when you feel powerless. This is a period of time when you will reconnect with your inner power and strength and you are beginning to understand that all power lies within you. your will your intent and your connection is source all work together to create a reserve of power and strength within you that will help you move forward in the most exciting ways so you were never really powerless you only convince yourself that you were and all along you have had great power within you that you were not using so as you reconnect with your inner power you will grow stronger each and every day and you will begin to make a changes that you could not make before so it will be easier for you to make decisions and you will begin to feel protected as well as feel a great sense of faith and security in the knowing that you can overcome any challenge that comes your way so as you tap into your inner strength and power sudden and rapid changes will begin to occur in your life so get ready to move forward So you are no longer a victim of life circumstances you are now becoming the hero in your own journey So my child know that By the time you are done with this chapter of your life you would not even be able to recognize part of yourself So you are doing things differently you are responding instead of reacting you are taking more risk and you are laughing more You are smiling more you are more peaceful than ever before you are wiping away your fears and while you recognize there is still much to be done you are creating new and exciting opportunities that are allowing the process to unfold more easily and there is no where to go but up and forward on So there will be people in this world who would not be able to fall into you the way you wish people who would not love you back or heart or as much as you had hope
people who will try and try but still would not be able to fit you into the cervix of their life and you will have to let them go you will have to tell yourself that it was not meant to be that in a world where souls are made of the same soft golden stardust your were different and you will have to admit to you pushing hurt that theirs did not want yours in the same way and you will have to hope for a morning where it does not hurt as much so for a day where the sunshine is able to tumble into all your cracks and make you whole again for the disappointment that you were not loved as hard to fade slowly you will need to hold yourself delicately than rocking your heart back and forth as you remind yourself that those who don't love you back define you those who don't love you back to not determine your worth those who don't love you back did not have space for you in their lives but this does not mean that someone else would not it does not mean someone else would not so my child know that this new moon is bringing a fresh start through your life your embodiment purpose relationship mindset business are a way of living etc maybe changing and taking a new turn in alignment with your higher self it is a great time to follow your intuition over your logic or ego and bring new realities into manifestation by your faith and it takes courage to not go back to your old ways and believe in what you can't see yet so don't hold back your love for learning or creating many of you are breaking free from old paradigm of conforming following strict schedules or feeling restricted you are being called to organically and authentically feed your energy to what you would like to become your reality unusual miracles are awaiting so type yes if you are ready so here is the thing there is nothing wrong with telling someone how you want to be loved there is no shame in exposing how you want to be seen understood and loved the truth is people don't always have a deep understanding of who we are and what we desire they are not traveling with us on our internal journey so they do not have us figure out all the time they themselves are trying to figure out who they are what they are feeling and what to make of their experiences take the opportunity to tell people how you want to be loved maybe they will begin to love you in ways you never imagined possible ways that will not just fill your cup but overflow it so there are people in your life who want to know how to love you they are not knowing exactly how to do it does not mean their love for you does not exist so show them the way open yourself up to the possibility of deeper and more meaningful connections through your vulnerable self So there is more to like than just sitting at your desk all day and working your hardest to make a living. I am not saying give up your job and quite giving it your all to survive.
I'm saying do the things you always said you would but could not because you were told not to chase dream not people work hard for what you value not what you were told what was valuable so make us spreadsheet of all your curiosities and let them be your guide you might not have been told this or maybe you forget but you should care for yourself not just through salt path extra vegan rewards or traveling to get away I mean the kind of care that teaches you how to choose what matters to you and run after it the kind of care that does not make you long for weekend because work is a mess the kind of care where you don't have to escape from your life just to feel like you are doing enough people may think they can decide what your value is but you always have the final say So you will always bear the weight of your choices regardless if people persuade you or not you will always be the solo owner of your life it is up to you to settle for the life in front of you So or lead a life you are passionate of don't be afraid to dream more don't be afraid to care for yourself So my child note that you know there are times when we all have doubts about ourselves maybe you are feeling down or thinking negative thoughts that make your question and your worth so but there here is the thing those moments don't define you you are not just those tough times or the sadness that sometimes cloud your days you are not the doubts that whisper you are not significant what is important to remember is that you are loved and that love is a powerful force in your life So you matter not just to others but in your own journey you are like a rare gem one of kind and that makes you incredibly valuable your worth is like a treasure locked inside you and no one can ever steal it Regardless of the challenges you face even on your hardest days you remain deserving of love respect and it is a reminder of your unique worth and how truly special you are you have the strength to overcome anything and you bring something special to the world that can't be replaced So you are loved, important, and one of a kind, and that is something no other one can ever change. Dear God, Almighty Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you for loving and trusting me in spite of my limitations and wounds. Likewise, thank you for listening to my prayer and understanding my situation. Father please continue to watch over me especially as i walk through against the waves and storms of journeying in this life keep me standing strong and alert father by blessing me with a positive mindset a persistent fighting spirit in order and that i would keep going on matter what lies ahead on me 
I place my worries, pain, anxiety and doubts in your mercury. I pray also for those families who are undergoing some trials in their lives due to health, financial and relational problems. In Jesus name, Amen. Loving Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you also for continuously giving hope. Father, watch over me throughout this day because only in your presence and guidance my life find direction, strength and safety. Likewise, purify and empty my mind and heart from the influences of anxiety, fearfulness, anger and negative thinking. So I surrender to you all the heavy loads that I am carrying in my life right now. Heal me from any form of sickness and be the living force inside my heart for me to become more positive, courageous and patient in the face of my pains, frustration and suffering in Jesus name. Amen. So, my child know that, don't settle, please note anymore, maybe once upon a time, you convince yourself that it is not so bad to settle, that maybe you could learn to be okay with a life that does not nourish your soul. A life that does not pour back into you all that you pour into it and you talk yourself into believing that maybe it was too much to think that you should be hopelessly in love with each new morning that every new sunrise should hold a hidden promise in its warm glow. Maybe you were the wrong one for believing there could be more out there for you. But no, I promise you were not wrong. The part of you that believes in your understanding, worthiness has never been wrong. You are worthy of living a life that aligns with your heart and feeds your soul a life that feels right and real and true to you. The time for settling is over. That is in the past because my goodness you are worth so much more than a life you settle for. You are not here to settle, you are here to create and explore and follow the pull inside your heart just to see where it takes you. You are here to leave the world a little more beautiful than you found it. So you are here to breathe into the infinite possibilities of a limitless universe. Don't settle, never settle. You are worth so much more. A plan and counter the most resistance during takeoff. Remember this when you encounter adversity, use the resistance you encounter as a wind under your wings. Affirm to yourself that resistance is a sign that you are rising higher. The universe is helping you grow, celebrate the challenges. Regardless, if you feel justified, are you in the habit of complaining, speaking up, making your point? Maybe you think you are standing up for yourself or your family, but the truth is it is just complaining it is unhealthy you will never be happy in complaining more ask yourself if this really that big of a deal 
probably not let it go experience life as is good and bad go with the flow god will show you what is really important for now just be smile you are alive you are blessed focus on that There are times in life you are gonna be in situation you don't like a commitment you made a job something in progress walking away is not always an immediate option You can hate it be miserable let it affect your peace and serenity or make it a practice in preserving challenge yourself to be unaffected go in what often remember what is really important be intentional about letting it all go not being irritated god has a plan it will work out eventually all for the good just and believe so my child know that We have all heard surrender to the universe within manifestation literature but what does it actually mean It means releasing the tight grip of control and fear by embracing the present moment with open arms it's finding inner peace amidst it life chaos a choice to be in harmony with whatever circumstances unfold Surrender is an authentic of calm clarity and confidence where you are not battling reality but using your tools to create the reality you want and work with all outcomes trusting that there is a grander design beyond our immediate desire is at the core of surrender it is acknowledging that the universe has your back or chastening events for your highest good even if they don't align with every detail of your initial plan surrender banishes anxieties about specific outcomes replacing it with an attitude of allowance and acceptance in this state your desires find their way to you effortlessly unburdened by doubt and anticipation so when you surrender remember this it is not waving the white flag it is raising your flag of faith it is learning into the flow of life's magnificent river the end goal may remain as the means to the end became varied without disturbing your frequency embrace surrender as a gift a doorway to serenity and alignment with your true self trust that you are co-creating a future beyond your wildest dreams in surrendering and when you expect life to unfold in your favor it always will So my child know that everything good that you hope to experience or give to other comes from the father of heavenly lights and those blessing and meditated by your heart level feelings for god
This sounds like I am overweighting the importance of emotion over thinking, but if our thoughts about God are disconnected from our deep feelings, then we will not be able to thrive in God's love and truth. Similarly, if our feelings about God are disconnected from thinking, then our faith and life will become weak to grow strong in our ability to love well, do great work and live with joy. We need to integrate our feelings and faith as we follow Jesus. For instance, if you are anxious about a conflict with someone, how will you handle this? What will you do with your faith and feeling you could avoid the conflict and get depressed, ruminate and worry about it, be a people pleaser to smooth out the relationship or get aggressive? These are ways of being controlled by emotion without putting trust in God. Or you could think positive thoughts from the Bible to feel happy, peaceful or strong. But this is denying the inner fear which has a history to it and reflects a need to be securely loved and straightened in your inner person. So that is not healthy feelings and faith either. The wise approach is to feel your anxious, fearful or insecure emotions and ask God and a friend for empathy and grace. You could also take courage from them to speak the truth in love with the person you are in conflict with seeking mutual understanding and a win for problems. The last approach integrates your feelings with your faith in God. It is treating your daily life as Jesus school of discipleship for learning how to grow in giving and receiving love. So my child know that I hope you find a love that is easy, really easy, the type of love where there are not any mixed signal, just you and this person looking at each other across the room and know you each have it best. So I hope you find a love that selfless, the type of person who would do anything for you with no question asked, the type of love where someone simply has your best interest at heart. The type of love where your happiness makes you so much of theirs, I hope you find a love that is willing to make sacrifices the type of person who will meet you half away. Uh, I hope you find a love that faithful you look at them and you just know there is not anyone that can shake what you guys have. I hope you find a love that forgives you. The type of person who can see you make mistakes but also help you to learn from them. The type of person who can see you at your roast and still think you are incredible. The type of person who understands you are not perfect but looks at you like you are the greatest thing that has ever happened to them, flows and all. I hope you find a love that supports you, someone who not only supports your dreams but wants to see you do well more than you do. I hope you find a love that will fight for you.
someone who will not always be in your corner someone who will always choose you and the relationship you have i hope you find someone who would anything to be with you the type of person who would not let you walk away but goes after you if you try to i hope you find someone who heals i hope you find someone who teaches you that you did not deserve what happened to you in the past i hope you find a love that appreciates you i hope you find the type of love that never stops saying thank you the type of love that even after a long time they are still impressed by what you do for them someone who truly values you for all you are and the person you make them i hope you find a love that is your best friend your loudest love your biggest smile your number one fan your happiest memory you deserve it someone who truly values you for all you are and the person you make them i hope you find a love that is your best friend so my child know that when day you play outside the house you grow up is a kid for the last time and you did not know it was the last when day your mother pick up for the last time one day you wore your favorite shirt for the last time one day you went out with your old friend group and you did not know it was the last round of drinks the last love the last hour you would all be in the same place at same time One day you spend your last night in your first apartment and you did not know it was the last time you would hear the floor boards creak as you walk across them the last time you would see the view from the kitchen the window The last time you would wake up in a place that you know act with nostalgia when you think of one day you drove away from a place you once called home and did not know it was the last time you would see the streets fade in the review mirror You did not realize those were the good old ways until you were no longer in them. Eventually, you will look back on this moment and you think the very same thing. Stop waiting until you have lost more weight or have more money. Until you think you more worthy or feel more sure, stop waiting to throw your heart to the wind, and see if maybe this is the time it is carried home. Stop waiting to start writing or traveling or growing out your hair, or dressing the way you want, or letting your heart open to. love the right time and the ready feeling will never come there will always be thing to worry about always things to fear there will always be an unanswered question and a vast open horizon upon which you will have to keep walking and building your beautiful life
all you can ever do is make the most of what is in front of you stop missing out on living because your eyes are set on a magical someday and that someday you are waiting for is now My child know that it's easy to miss the fact that our personalities can lead us away from God's grace. We might not realize it but we tend to hide our emotional pain, sin and our deeper needs. But as life goes on we eventually face painful consequences of our defended personality that is when it hit us that our own personalities have been fooling us keeping us from seeing our inner brokenness To wake up to reality and change we need to connect hurt feelings especially our deepest hurts of Sadness this includes talking honestly about your sadness grieving the losses and wounds you have experienced praying from your heart forgiving sins asking for what you need learning to trust someone's empathy and receiving grace as we discuss in our book healthy feelings thriving faith the process help us not work through some emotions like anger shame anxiety and sadness but also lead us into the blessing and positive emotion of freedom joy peace and love So dear someone no If started with meeting myself where I'm looking at how I show up from a non judgmental eye but a curious one shedding light on why I moved the way I moved getting to know me for me like I'm meeting myself for the first time So what light me up what scared the shut out of me and why i got deep with myself removing all barriers and conditions who did i deeply desire to be and i know that is who i was at my core who i really am outside of everything i learned to be the inner work is a lot of awareness learning shedding and reconstructing i am continually evolving into who i desire to be i have been confined for too long by who i was told to be and i am finding my way back to myself If I now decide the mate of my life where I now in search of some wonderful girl or some wonderful man what would I actually find myself doing that would simply that I have found my state For instance suppose now I was a lady one thing I would definitely do I would wear a wedding ring I would take my imaginary hand and I would feel the ring that I would imagine to be there and I would keep on feeling it and feeling it until it seemed to be solidly real I would give it all sensory vividness I am capable of giving anything and while I am feeling my imaginary ring which implies that I am married
everything we do a combined by a change of consciousness is but futile readjustment of surfaces however we toil or struggle we can receive no more more than our concepts of self affirm to protest against anything which happens to us is to protest against the law of our being and our rulership over our turn destiny there is nothing more powerful than conviction and absolute knowingness what a thing will occur when you reach that state of rock solid faith mountains will be lifted to give room to your desire absolute knowingness is the quickest way to manifest anything that you desire dear best friend you don't call me like you used to you are always with the new friends you have made who are too busy pretending like i don't exist dear best friend the connection we once we held is slipping through our finger trips I don't want to let go but I'm afraid that you might dear best friend you are a double knot laced through the soul of my memories with childhood's intertwined our pinkies promise we would never change Remember when we swore we would grow old together that starry eyed girl i once know has vanished and we are now stranger who share a past i'm terrified of letting you go and losing my better half dear best friend i fear you have taken a piece of myself away because i try to find myself part of you each of one of my companions but no one can replace the priceless friendship we possess dear ex best friend we have not spoken in months i don't know how to undo all the wrongs i have done in truth i don't know how to mend what has been lost my child no dad break free from whatever you feel is holding you back express happiness find out what you truly desire feeling happy is very much connected to how you perceive events your roles your opportunities and what you have or don't have focus your attention on the positive things in your life so create a balance between the negatives and positive you observe make a commitment to finding happiness for yourself express your creative self what are you waiting for in your life This message tells you that no matter where you go or what you do your optimistic and glowing energy will follow you and bring you happiness and joy You charm others because you can always see the bright side and you bring affection into people's life This beautiful loving ability will get you through the tough time and will help you succeed. You are also at a point where you can share your utmost individuality and success with others, expand and be willing to express who you are and what you stand for. <laughs>